The 52nd Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race kicks off this Saturday in Anchorage. Two Minnesota natives are competing in the world famous thousand mile race for the first time. Derek James talked with the rookie mushers that are taking on this challenge through Alaska's unforgiving wilderness. <laughs> Anna Hennessy. As soon as I ran my first race in Minnesota, I was hooked. And Aaron Ultimus. And those dogs take you on some wild adventures. <laughs> you have to know how to hang on. Are among 39 mushers who will travel the roughest yet most awe inspiring terrain over roughly 10 days. Hennessy's road to the Iditarod was paved by a few years with Ultimus and her husband at their kennel in Grand Marais. Working with them is what got me into racing. And I completely fell in love with the sport. Hennessy moved to Alaska to pursue her dream. After qualifying, the timing seemed perfect for the two to run together. Uh, I just signed up um, <laughs> so I could, I could do it with a friend. I thought that seemed more feasible, more fun. The obstacles can be daunting. Blizzards, <laughs> uh, possible moose encounters, windstorms, um, sleep deprivation. But the dogs don't mind. They live to run truly. They love it. And it to do it at this level though, to be able to run a thousand miles takes, you know, a whole seasons of training. Ultimus and her dogs have been in Alaska since January after the John Bear Grease was canceled. It was such a relief to get here and find winter. Their amazing race is now just days away. An experience few get the chance to take part in, let alone with great friends, human and canine. I feel super lucky to be able to travel across Alaska with my with dogs, like with my best friends. What will be the first thing you do when you finish? Put the dogs to bed and then put myself to bed. <laughs> Feed the dogs a meal. Maybe eat a hamburger myself and then yeah, take a nap, a long nap. Now, a burger does sound great, but I would need a stiff drink or two <laughs> after doing something like that. I think that's so impressive that they're nurses. Yeah. You know, that's their day job, and they're committing to taking all this time to do something completely different. Yeah, and it's a large financial investment. If you think about, you know, 15 dogs in that pack, you know, possibly more if you're raising a bunch and then deciding which dogs are going to be involved. And obviously they have a lot of help from back here in Minnesota when it comes to raising funds to be able to do this as yeah. well. With all those races that got canceled, they need this one. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, yep. Derek.